glory for India and a moment of destiny for all of us over here at Sri Hari Kota who are a part of the history in making. Thank you, Team Isro, for making India proud. And thank you, Honorable PM Narendra Modi ji, for having made this possible by unlocking the gates of Sri Hari Kota and enabling the India's space sector. You would recall, Honorable Prime Minister had very recently said, sky is not the limit. And living by his words, I think the Chandrayaan today has gone beyond the limits of sky to discover the unexplored horizons of the universe beyond. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this day today, the 14th of July, 2023, is also a day of vindication. Vindication of the dream that Vikram Sarabhai saw six decades ago. He might have been short of resources, but never short of confidence. And when we see those pictures of a launcher vehicle being carried on the carriage of a bicycle, without any remorse, without any slightest embarrassment, that is because Vikram and his team had faith in themselves, faith in India's potential, faith in India's acumen. And today, here, we are vindicating and we are reiterating India's indigenous capabilities, living up to the ideal of Atma Nirbhar Bharat. <laughs> and before I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, as Mother India, enters into the next 25 years of this Amrit Kal, she pledges to play a leading global role in the emerging world scenario of 21st century. Thank you and congratulations once again. Thank you, sir. We will also introduce the directors of the centers who have done all those great work of building the rocket, building the scientific instruments for Chandrayaan-3, the Chandrayaan spacecraft itself, and made all those critical systems, and also the uh, agencies who are going to handle the rest of the mission part, the tracking and the ground, sta ground stations, and all those teams will be are here. So I request the directors of those centers to join. First, director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Good afternoon, India. In last one year, this is the 10th mission, including the precise landing of the reusable land launch vehicle. So with this mission, this is the seventh mission of LVM-3, the successive successful mission. With this, the success rate of LVM-3 is 100%. And this is the ideal vehicle for Gaganyan. Some of the changes that we are incorporating in Gaganyan, we have implemented here, and the uh, Mark III has crossed the reliability of 0.9 and inching forward. So I take this opportunity to salute the entire ISRO community, especially the VSC community and all launch vehicle centers, industry partners for making the stages, making the sub-assemblies sub and testing. In fact, this is the third launch of LVM-3 in one year. You know, the uh, the realizing the stages, assembling, testing, and then launching three LVM threes in one year is a Herculean task. I salute the industry as well as all these resenders for this. And, and I wish all the very best. We know that when the beginning is good, the ending has to be good. I wish all the very best to the Chadrian for its solitary journey through the vastness of space and for making a feather-like soft landing in the fourth week of August. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Narayanan, Director LPSC. Yeah. Good afternoon to all of you. It is a historical event for Indian space program 
and a proud movement for all the Indians across the globe on this momentous occasion of the successful launch of the Chandrayaan-3. Three. three in one spacecraft in the required orbit with the highest level of precision by our heaviest launch vehicle, LVM-3. After the two 